Rising from Phantoms, boys. Welcome back to another episode here on the Existence SMP server. Uh, this is my first episode at my new setup uh, back at college for the year. Uh, let's just hide away for now. Uh, I've done quite a bit of work, as you can tell. Uh, since last episode, I've kind of cleared this area out because we're going to have our main hall in here. And that's what I want to do today. Uh, I want to build our main hall. At the very end, I either want to have like a throne or something. Something big here, maybe a statue, maybe a throne. And then I'm going to have hallways branching off in either direction and, you know, our base uh, from there. Um, but yeah, so the middle would be this. So this is where hallways would go, I believe, right there. Oh, wait, no, because this has changed yeah so yeah so there isn't one two three four so there isn't really a perfect center so maybe we could have a, a hallway there a hallway there you know we'll, we'll, we'll figure it out or maybe i'll extend it just a little bit further and make this the dead center that's probably what i'll end up doing uh just because you know i like odd numbers uh but uh, yeah thought i'd bring you guys in before i actually built anything um to show you guys uh what i'm working with so far um, but yeah, uh, I don't know how long today's episode is going to be. Uh, I'm probably going to do some on camera building. So hopefully that today's episode will be a little bit longer than normal. Uh, but I'm not entirely sure. Um, also, if you guys are into live streaming at all, or would like to watch any live streams, let me know. Cause I've been thinking a lot about live streaming a modded pack called project ozone here on my YouTube channel. Um, I don't really see the point of, for me streaming on Twitch. I don't have a following really on YouTube or Twitch, so I should focus on just one platform. Uh, and right now that's YouTube. I like YouTube videos, um, so I'll probably do some streaming. Uh, hopefully, maybe, if you guys would like to see that. Uh, I would love to stream some Project Ozone because I've got a setup. Excuse me. I've got a setup that I think I can do that with now. So yeah. Anyways, I'm going to get to work and I'll see you guys when I've got uh, some more clarity as to what I want to do here or some progress. Alright guys, I am at my spawn base if you recognize this area. Um, so, off camera I've been doing quite a bit of villager trading and working with villagers. And this guy's quite special right here. This is our mending villager. And I have kind of toyed with this guy a little bit, doing some tricks that I'm not going to disclose here. So my other members do not see this video and do it for themselves. Um, but I've got a mending book that I can get for one book and one emerald. I also have three bookshelves for one emerald, and then I can break those bookshelves and get books and trade one book for one emerald. So if you can do the math, it's exponential. It's infinite emeralds, essentially, uh, on this guy right here. It's very special. No one touch him. If someone touches this villager, that may not be this villager because I may move him. If someone touches him, I will slay you. I will slay them. Um... But yeah, anyways guys, I have been working a ton to get a ton of emeralds, and let's go up here, up top, and I can show you just how many emeralds I have gotten. Right in here. Oh look, a lot. Enough, in fact, for a full beacon. I also just fought my first wither skeleton. I'm sorry I did not include that uh, footage. My, uh, my audio was bugged, so I'm sorry about that, but we crafted our first beacon. I totally should have gotten an advancement for that. I'm not sure why I didn't. That sounded weird. Let's check this really quickly. Nether. Construction place a beacon. I just did that. Summon the wither. I just did that too. Oh, whatever. I don't care enough. But yeah, now we've got a beacon and enough blocks to make a full emerald beacon plus, you know, spare. Um, so yeah, we're definitely going to be doing that this episode. Uh, back at the base uh, which is where i'm headed now uh right after i stock up and reopen dash's and brayden's enchanted bookstore over here uh, i've got a lot of emeralds sorted out now so i've got a good i've got you know the amount that i need so now i can start putting them back into trading and restocking our bookstore but as of the upload of this video all members know that it is fully stocked up and it will continue to be fully stocked up 
Um, and I've also added some new books, including Protection 4 and Lower the Prices. So any members watching, if you need any of the books that were there previously, like Unbreaking 3, Silk Touch, Efficiency 5, Power 5, Mending, I've got a ton of Mending books, and Protection 4 now as well, uh, head on over there. The prices have been lowered by about a diamond on average for each. So yeah, um, but I'm going to get back to work, guys, over at the base, and I'll bring you in uh, to do some building here shortly, hopefully. All right, we are back here at the base, and this is what I've done thus far. I've got this nice carpet laid down. Unfortunately, it's got to change. Um, you know, I, I swung and I missed with this one. Gonna have to try again, uh, but it's okay. I, I like this right here. It's just got to change where it goes. This middle part uh, has to go because in this middle part, we are going to put the beacon, uh, it turns out. And we're actually going to put it underneath and then have it shoot through and then put glass over top of it. Uh, but it works out um, because we're going to have pathways opening up here and there. So if we bend this around, so let's grab our axe. So our little walkway here, instead of going straight, it will bend here. One, two, three, four, five still. Yep, it will bend here, go here, here, and it can go into our pathway this way. And then back here, and it will bend back around right here. We can destroy this as well. Just like so. So, it'll work out. I uh, just, you know, got to change things. Had to make a little bit of an audible because I wasn't sure where I wanted to place our beacon. Uh, but I want to put it right down underneath here uh, where it will be visible. So, I'm going to work on that. I want to redo this, you know, walkway, uh, get the carpet in and then uh, we'll see how we're doing. I may even put the beacon above ground a little bit, but I'm not sure, uh, cause I want this part at the end of this throne to be visible, and I think it will probably block the way, but I'm gonna try it and see how it looks. So I'll see you guys then. All right, so as you can tell, we have sorted that out. I quite like how this looks and we've got a four emerald beacon constructed down here, but we need to decorate this room because as of now, it's kind of ugly. So I've left these markers. I think we should bring these pillars up like so. I'm running out of wood here. So we can only do so much. We should do just like so. And then if we use our spruce wood, we could kind of detail this out a little bit. Just like so. And I also think that our beacon should look like it has braces. Like it is like secured into place just like this I think it makes it look very nice uh, let me stack back up here again and I need to craft some slabs it appears let's see just like this and get some stairs going and you know what let's do them all yeah, and already I can tell that looks nice, just like that. So it's going around here, and do the same on all sides. Slab, stair, 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 and some more stairs, just like so. So now our beacon is braced. It is. It, it, it's in. It's you know set in in its place very nicely. It looks good. Uh, I don't I haven't actually activated it um, yet, but I do plan on doing that. I'm not sure what effect I'm gonna do probably just strength or something or region uh, just to have um, But yeah, let's see what we can do here just like this and if there's any little bit of detail that we could possibly do Probably do Let's do something else in the corners here. Let's do stone brick just like that yeah i like that and then let's do uh let's follow what we were doing here like this just like that so yeah i'm gonna copy this over but let's see how this looks from uh up here as we're passing by now where's the hole at right here yeah that looks that looks awesome it looks all nice and secured in there. I might bring the slabs fully around on this top level. 
um, do a little bit more detailing but yeah I really like how this looks so I'm gonna uh, finish this room up and probably do a little bit more work here and then I will be back all right guys so I have just consulted with the fellow member Sandman and uh, I was kind of asking him what I should put in these areas there's a few options grass wood planks stuff like that uh, I'm probably gonna go with the stone design like this like an embroidery stone and then I'll probably have like cauldrons uh, with the sh uh, leaves as like shrubbery to add a little bit of color uh, to the build other than this blue to you know add a contrast color so, so yeah and uh, I've designed these walls which look very very nice in my opinion uh, this whole thing right here with the lava kind of follows it uh, I really really like that and uh, it'll be corresponded on this side and then on that side as well so it'll be flipped and then these will be our like tunnels to other things you know like storage area furnace room farm stuff like that and then the throne will be up here i probably won't build the throne in this episode because i don't have it designed yet um and yeah i've already spent so much time on this episode um but yeah essentially we're going to be uh finishing up the walls here and the flooring and then that'll be it uh, so I'll do some more progress. I may come back with another progress update or I may come back once we are all finished I'll just uh, We'll just have to see uh, how much of a grind I get into here in the next couple of hours probably gonna throw on a movie or a podcast uh, Or some YouTube videos and just work 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 So I'm gonna get to that and I'll see you guys uh, when I've got quite a bit of progress All right, everyone all her Interior is done. So when you are ready, let's go on in. Are right, you ready? three two one one boom there it is it's looking quite awesome uh i really hammered it out i put on a movie and i just had it in the background just listening to it and man i just grinded and grinded and grinded i've got uh emeralds here now an emerald there i'm going to switch out the diamond block right out here for an emerald as well because uh that's a that's a big part of what we've been doing this season is villager trading and emeralds so I think that's a better representation of what we've done. And I also want to have a emeralds and stuff incorporated into the throne over here, which I will be designing uh, to build probably next episode. But nevertheless, this is what we have done this episode. I think it is quite a glorious monument, quite a great achievement. Uh, it, it's a really, really nice uh, room to have. Let's see if we can grab ourselves a screenshot maybe another time when there is not a bat in the way let's kill this guy real quick oh we can get him got him let's try this again like so i'll probably take a few that may not be the one that is in the thumbnail but it also may be so that's all i've got for this episode thank you so much for watching uh if you really enjoyed this uh, feel free to subscribe. I'm gonna have new existence content out very shortly plus a new series out on the channel um, My next video should be the first video of a new series. It will is a modded series um, But that's all the hints you get uh, if you want to see what that's about subscribe and hit the bell and you'll know when I upload next uh, or if you want to join my discord the link is down in the description of this video you can join that I post all my videos there they're automatically put there in the announcements chat whenever I upload a video so feel free to check that out as well uh, anyways guys my name is Dash or Caleb and as always thanks for watching